So we have here the Rotel from left to right, the Jiffy Corn Mix, which is going to be made later. We have the bacon, which is going to be an Apple Farm, Appleton Farm bacon. And then we're going to use uh, red onions. And then on the smoked sausage, I'm not going to use all that. It's a big package, so we're just going to use half of it. That's uh, my husband and I. It's only the two of us. And then um, butter to help with the sauteing. And then we have cabbage. And that whole cabbage, we're not going to use all that. We'll use half of that. And then we have the paprika. And we have the garlic. And then we have salt and pepper. And then what I'm going to do with my bacon is, is I'm not going to fry it. I'm going to bake it. Um, it just kind of helps with prep time. And uh, so I don't have to mess with this popping at me. Okay, so we're going to begin. And um, I don't know what this dish is called. Other than it's it's a sausage and cabbage dish. And um, me and my husband actually fall in love with it. So I hope you enjoy watching. And let us begin. Making sure it's working. Is it even on? Hello, y'all. Welcome back. Um, I'm not sure what the name of the dish is, but we're going to call it um, a sausage. It's a, it's a smoked sausage and cabbage recipe. And um, it's a really good, um, depending on how you make it, it could be a low, low weight diet. <laughs> or it could be heavy, but we're going to go on the low end. Um, it's calls for butter, but we use a little bit more olive oil than butter um, because we're using cabbage. And of course, cabbage always tastes better with a little bit of butter. So we're just going to use just a little bit of it. And, um, and then we're going to use um, some olive oil to help out. And right now, my husband David's helping out. And again, welcome. My name is Paula. If you haven't, haven't seen or watched us yet, um, my name is Paula. And that's my husband David. And we thank you all for, for coming in and watching us. And we hope you enjoy. And if you have any comments, don't forget to leave them down at the bottom. We'd love to hear back from everybody. And, uh, and please don't forget to subscribe and like. You know the thumbs up. <laughs> and leave comments. We'd love to hear back from y'all. Uh oh. Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to start with my cabbage first. And just it's just us two. Uh, so we don't want to make too much. We already have plenty of leftovers as it is. So we're just going to make enough to what we need. All right, so I'm just going to use half of this, and I'm just going to do a um, a shredded rough chop. On this cabbage. For some reason, during the right at spring, it's lettuce and cabbage always has this funny look about it, and I don't know if it's just because of the season. It always has some issues. All right. We all know that cabbage down so when you first chop it up it looks like a lot and as you can see it's just a rough chop I'm not going to do anything fancy to it
my husband's got some uh, onions going on the skillet at the moment. And he's already got those um, sweating down. And then he's going to add the cabbage onion. Okay. And so we're going to start cutting up the sausage. And as you can tell, it's really large. So I'm not going to use all of this. like a regular package if you bought a single pack instead of a large pack. I just happened to get it at Aldi's. It was on sale. Oh, it was, just, it was Sam's. I'm sorry. It was at that Sam's. You know, put that out there and then I'll put it So what we're going to do is, is that um, before we add this to the cabbage, I'm going to slice these down into not really thin, but they're going to kind of be about a half of a tree. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put them on a cookie sheet, and then I'm going to put them in the broiler, and I'm going to broil them. And it is absolutely, y'all, it is absolutely delicious. I don't know what it is, but I love when the sausage is broiled. I mean, you can bake it either way, but I love to broil them. It gets them crispy. You gotta stand over it though, because they will burn fast. And then when they, when you're broiling them, I'll pull them out and I'll flip them over and then I'll do the other side and it's a little crispy. It's kind of a little bit of work, but it's really worth it. A lot of flavor when you do it that way. Oh, perfect timing. Looks like the bacon's coming out. And then we'll put some cornbread on later and uh, we'll pour it over the cornbread. It's really good. I like to use Jiffy. It's got that sweet taste, but you can use whatever cornbread you like. It don't, you know, it don't have to be anything specific. It's just whatever you prefer. And if you don't want to add the Rotel, I use a mild, the mild Rotel. Um, we usually use uh, whatever all these have. It's the original. So if you want to use a regular Rotel and use mild or omit it, that's fine too. You don't have to have it. How you doing, David? Just turn it over. You just turn the bacon over? He turns the bacon over. I don't. I just let it cook. It's all good. How long did you set the bacon for? Onions already in there, and they're um, already sweating. And he's got them. Yes, okay. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon or so to the. Uh, two teaspoons of garlic. And then I'm just going to stir this in.
Then we're going to put the lid on it and let it sweat down. Bacon's done! It looks like there's two right there. Put these on a sheet, paper towel. Okay, so um, the bacon has um, been put on a paper towel on the plate, and we're gonna set that to the side. Now, uh, my husband likes to use the same pan that the bacon came off of. We drained the grease off of it. And so what we're gonna do is, is we're just gonna add the sausage onto the cookie sheet. And we're going to cook it in the bacon grease that was left on there. All the essence, he calls it. I almost should say this is a David dish. Because <laughs> you've made it your own dish. Uh, it's okay to laugh. It's your dish. Now all the pieces have to be flat or it won't cook right. Okay, we've got everybody down and now we're going to the oven. See you in a minute. Okay, so why the um, sausage is cooking? We are going to start on the um, cornbread. Or did you already put one up? Yeah, I need both. Okay, so we're, we're going to do two two packages of cornbread because I like it more fluffy and um, it's great with leftovers. So, uh, that being said, um, we have prior used the cast iron and we cooked bacon in it earlier. And so we again have the, oh, we're going to glare. We have the essence, essence of bacon grease in the cast iron and that's what we're going to put our cornbread mix in. So let me get my stuff. I'm just following the directions on the back of the Jiffy Mix and um, it says that it's one egg and a third cup of milk. But I'm doing it per package, so. So we'll start with our first package. And so it says a third cup of milk. And I'm using, I know I'm using a dry ingredient cup, but it'll do. Because I'll add just a tad extra. And then we're using one egg. the first one to the skillet. It's the first one. I'm going to add the second one. One 
on the egg. Uh oh, get that out of there. And we're gonna do a third cup. And just a little tad. Now I add a little extra milk to this second batter for a reason. Um, I like it a little bit more fluffier, not so dense. So when I add it to the batter in the cast iron, we're going to mix it up with the oil that's in the pan. You doing okay over there? I see how you get all the baking grease in there. You'd be like, ooh, that's a mess. But I'm telling you, y'all, this is so good. Oh, my friend, this is, this is like heaven. This is probably not on the diet. <laughs> uh, you, gotta, you gotta indulge a little bit, huh, David? Just a little bit. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. This puppy's gonna go in the oven, and hold on. And you can see see that the sausage is done, and that it came out of the broiler. And we're just gonna um, set these to the side till they're ready to be put in with the cabbage. Cornbread's in the oven. Okay. So we're going to now start adding our rest of our ingredients. We're going to add our Rotel in. I'm just adding the can of the Rotel that we said was original. We're going to add our sausage. And then we're going to start adding our bacon. This smells so good. And then we're going to start mixing it in. And you can tell how much that cabbage wilted down. This is a nice dinner. Now we'll simmer this for about 20 to 30 minutes while the cornbread's cooking. <laughs> 